Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to Date 90 Reviews, and it's it's Halloween-ish. Uh, tomorrow. We're, tomorrow, it's Halloween, so I guess this is a Halloween-themed episode, so well, yeah. may, may, maybe a badly animated bat somewhere here on her face, <laughs> or, or something, this, I don't know. What? How do you do a Halloween-themed episode? Make you a pumpkin. I am a pumpkin. You're a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yes. Uh, so, what do we have for this Halloween? Well, this Halloween we're going back to 1988. And the movie is They Live. The one that sprouts the famous line that's also in Duke Nukem. They're pulling the water out of the sand like... Something. Blow it out your ass. The game. Oh, oh okay. Uh, the good one. I guess we'll get to that. So, um, the 90s. Yeah, let's start off this Halloween by watching the movie. Yeah. Yay. I might need to take my glasses off. <laughs> John Carpenter's They Live. Yeah, uh, yeah. And the, yeah, what's uh, it about, about? Yeah, it's about uh, Rory Piper who plays uh, Basically, a vagrant, or uh, they don't actually say he's a homeless person, but he's someone who's down on his luck and just roaming the streets. And he finds a pair of sunglasses that allow him to see the truth. Okay. But I won't spoil it anymore. Okay, so it's uh, about an alien invasion, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's an alien invasion movie. Let's see how it compares to other alien invasion movies like, like, uh, War of the World or Alien Invasion. I'm pretty sure there's a movie called Alien Invasion there somewhere. There has to be. There has to be. And you will see it here. Yeah. Huh. There's nothing available for you right now. I don't think I wish I had the unemployment office. Yeah. You know what? These 3D glasses do do nothing. I can already tell that, you know, like, Roddy Piper wasn't the first choice. This is clearly done for Kurt Russell. You just see it. You know, like, Kurt no, Russell... Well, actually, Carpenter wanted something, someone who was really, uh, brutish. Okay. He wanted someone, and... So this was his first choice, yes. and I have to say, I'm pretty sure, you know, the stunt casting of Roddy Piper uh, didn't do the movie movie any favors. You know, this movie needed an A-lister cast. You know, like Kurt Russell. This movie yeah, needed but Kurt this Russell. This movie opened at number one in Portugal. No, in the United States. Fuck. But it disappeared quite quickly from there. Fuck. So, I yeah. thought this was a major flop, like most of Carpenter films. Yeah, it was, but it opened at number well, one. Well, hello there. Yeah, well, I mean, Roddy Piper was, I do believe he was quite uh, popular at the time. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, this is like one of the few Carpenter movies I have not seen mm -hmm. to this date. So this is... This movie's always been there, but I haven't seen it. Keith David. Keith David. Uh, his what a fine specimen of a man. Character was written specifically for him. Yeah, after the thing. Yeah. Yeah, because he was in the thing and he was pretty good. And yeah, he was so good so that Carpenter wrote this part for him. Carpenter fell in love with him just a little. Who well, could who could blame the man? Look yeah. at that guy. He's amazing. He, he, he's a really good actor, you know, he's like a really manly character actor. Yeah. Which is something you won't see often. Look at the size of Keith David, David's hammer. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know, he's gonna, he's able to use that thing well. Well, he is a construction worker in this. But look at that thing. 
It was built for nailing. Are you done? Keith David has a big dick. I'm done. Is that Meatloaf? No. It's the guy who no. looks like Meatloaf. No, it's the other guy. Yeah, Bob. Bob has bitch tits. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm hungry now. You just ate. But I have to say, a Carpenter as a filmmaker, he's always been a bit clumsy, you know, in his techniques. And the clumsiness is... He's no Spielberg. He's no Spielberg, yes, exactly, very apt comparison. But he somehow makes it work. Wow, beautiful natural nails. Wow! She picked up her cheese with her fingernail. Are being redirected. We are living in an artificially induced state of consciousness. Why is John Williams there? Oh, goddamn hacker that second damn night that asshole's cut in. A 70-year-old hacker. Yeah. By a small group of scientists. That guy has soiled his pants in the front. How do you soil your pant pants from the front? You ask someone to soil them for you. Ew. Just lean on me and oh, oh no, a stripper did it. I have a diarrhea. I don't okay. care, just dance. That's it, baby. This is a weird episode. Oh, really? Yeah. We have to face facts. Only a few seconds got on the air. So it's time to forget about breaking in on top of their signal. They're only going to jam us out again and again. Well, look at that, Keith David. Isn't that him? Uh, no. no. <laughs> that's that's Keith David's dad. Okay. David David. No, David Keith. David Keith. Keith David. Oh shit! No, I don't know. <laughs> Craig David. <laughs> the helicopter kept kept its volumes down. Yeah. <laughs> now be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Catholics. <laughs> They're great. Yeah, but that's the thing with movies. For some reason, always cars and helicopters and airplanes have the tendency to sneak up. Yeah. You know? The it's so weird. The only way you sneak up is, is if you're listening to music. Yeah. Uh, I don't it's like this. I don't like this player. Go away. It's on now. Go, go, go. Come on, this way, this way. Whoa. Sunglasses. <laughs> Anything else? One. Oh right. shit! Here we go. Yep. Whoa. Yep. See? Color. What? Uh. And. Okay. Bye. <gasps> These are the lousiest 3D effects I've ever seen, but okay. Yeah. Well, I hope it's naked. She's naked, right? Naked! Oh. Marry and reproduce. No. Actually, I don't think mine works because I saw it just the lady, you know, being nude. Wait. Those aren't extra glasses. <laughs> yes, they are. I love these glasses. One euro well spent. You look great, honey. Oh, 
What's your problem? I said, what's your problem? You look hideous, sir. Cool. Oh, no, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this I know. Everybody knows this. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, that line was actually ad-libbed by Roy Piper himself. Really? Yeah. It's uh, from um, a set of uh, catchphrases that he tried out when he had to choose from when he was a wrestler. Really? Yeah, so that was ad lib. Wasn't what? So your name's Holly, right? Holly Thompson. The only character who's, who has a full name. It's a pretty name. So what do you do? I act, mostly. Assistant program director. Cable 54. Oh, so it's going to be a pop pod point later. That's a very cool. That's a. Whoa! Holy fuck! Well done, Holly Thompson. That was brilliant! Damn you, city workers, doing your job proficiently. You idiot. You have some chocolate on your face. Look at that. Watch out, no one follows you. No. I have a World popcorn a kernel on my dick. We're gonna phone it in. My seed is strong. My seed has popped. This location's gone in there, guys. That looks amazing. Operation Steel Fist has been a complete success. All security stations stand down to operational Right. We have Whoa, the why, why, is it, why is he talking into a PKA meter? Are, uh, are they Ghostbusters? Oh, no, it's a bar mitzvah. Year 2025. Not only America, but the entire planet. Contrary to the resources we need in our ongoing quest for multidimensional expansion. Stanley. And in return. <laughs> now, if you think that's something, take a look at this. Go on, take a closer look. Attention commuters. Flight Alpha 7 to Andromeda is now. Andromeda? Yeah. It's not Andromeda, it's Andromeda. Whoa! Well, this escalated once again quickly. Evening, boys. Looking sharp. <laughs> Wait till you see what I'm going to show you now. My dick. It's short and wrinkly, but I think you guys will love it. And here we got the brains, the whole operation. A woman? How can it be? We bump it out all over the world. Pretty fancy, huh? <laughs> Not too familiar with it myself. Why, why is he, you know, like, introducing every important thing to those two guys? Well, boys, as far as we go... This would allow space sensors to penetrate natural barriers and camouflage. Can you get us inside? 
I've never seen the inside of a TV studio before. You look like the gentleman to ask. Well, I guess it wouldn't be that much problem. You see them boys over there? Friends of mine. Special friends. Hey, fellas, I got a couple of my buddies here. I thought I'd give them the grand tour. Think we can go inside? Be serious. You have your authorization cards. Right here. Ah! Oh, they're using the Arnold Schwarzenegger tactic. Watch the door. Yeah. Sir, may I see your invitation, please? Sure. Here's my invitation. You're filled with lightning when you hit the road. You're feeling that basic power as you take control. Okay. Well, that was enthusiastic. Hey, what's wrong, baby? Really? This movie ended on boobs. What the fuck? What did you think? Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's the Meg Foster eye syndrome. Maybe. Ugh. Yeah. But then again, it's still a better love story than Twilight. But only because of Keith David. Hey, kiss it. Heistakaa,